Today we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to show you a hike um, at Sugarloaf Mountain that I did with Cuddy. Especially since the last video got so many awesome comments and views, I want to bring you guys more content with Cuddy. My dad is going to tell you a story in this video as well about Pete and his Ridgeback in, um, in Southern Africa during one of my dad's hunting expeditions. He heard this story about this gentleman named Pete. He was an Afrikaans guy that got attacked by a lion and his Ridgeback ended up saving his life. So. Uh, that story is going to happen in this video as well. And we're also going to do some drone shots uh, from beautiful Virginia where we live currently. Uh, so tune in for more and let's just snip right into the videos. Hi everybody, so we're here at Sugarloaf Mountain in Maryland. It's pretty beautiful and I got some cool drone shots to intro this video. This spot is really, really close to Washington DC. It's like a very short drive, probably an hour away, actually technically exactly an hour away from Washington DC and uh, it's a short hike honestly it's not that big if there's a big loop and you can do the loop as many times as you want maybe you can go running it's a great place to take your dog and I'm here with Cuddy and uh, yeah it hosts some nice views of Maryland when you get to the top over here on the rock anyway I'm gonna give you some facts about this spot how far away it is and the location and a couple more drone shots so you can just see the scenery in case you want to plan a trip here let's do this Sugarloaf Mountain is a fun little mountain located about an hour out of DC and about 10 miles south of Frederick, Maryland. The closest village is actually a place called Barnesville and that's a chill place with a couple of nice restaurants there and inns with breweries and that's located just about a mile away from the foot of the mountain. The peak of this mountain is actually pretty low at 800 feet higher than the surrounding farmland. And all in all it's a super easy place to escape the city and go on a nice hike walked all the way up this blue line we're here and then we're gonna go all the way around here so that's a five mile loop we just hiked five miles on this loop it's actually pretty awesome there's not that many people you know earlier if you if you're right in the top of the mountain there's quite a lot of people there but once you actually step onto the blue trail and do the loop and this is what the blue trail loop looks like it's indicated by these blue markers um, then basically you Go around in this big circle, and there's not that many people, um, and you can get a, a good quality hike in. Now we're gonna switch gears from the hike and listen to my dad talk about Pete and how his Ridgeback saved his life in the Kalahari Desert. Everybody, this is my father, Alexander Veskov, the great African hunter. Long retired from hunting in Africa, but we're here in nature. With the Ridgebacks. With the Ridgebacks. Beautiful. I remember one really nice story about the old Pete from uh, Central Kalahari, the, the old rancher and that end. Once he, his herd have a problem with the lions and that end, he took the rifle and go to sort the problem out. And one of the male lions actually jumped from, from one cliff on him and start eating his legs and he can't reach the rifle. But his uh, reach back, jump on the lion and uh, start fighting with the lion. That give old Pete some few seconds just to reach the rifle, shot the lion, save himself. Reach books have a history in Africa and they're beautiful dogs. <laughs> oh, yes. Range dogs and huh. if they need the space, they need a long, long African savannas to to run with the gazelles, with the lions. With the, a beautiful dogs, they're really beautiful dogs. 